Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Goalside. As you all know, LA Galaxy is a professional American soccer team located in Carson, Los Angeles, California, playing in the MLS in the Western Conference. In 1996, the team operated as one of the 10 participants of the league charter. LA Galaxy is operated by the Anschutz Entertainment Group and was founded in 1994. The club held its home games in its early years in the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. They've been practicing at the Sports Park of Dignity Health in Carson, California since 2003. The club had a series with the San Jose Clasico Earthquakes and contested a Super Clasico with town rivals Chivas USA until this squad folded in 2014. Throughout 2018, El Trafico Derby, a fresh opponent, appeared in the form of Los Angeles FC. The club became the most popular Major League Soccer squad with five MLS championships, four times in the final, and eight times the regular season championship of the West Congress, four Supporters' Shields, two United States Open Cups, Accessible Cups, and one title of CONCACAF Cup winners. Throughout 2017, the team shared the trophy case with the dubious MLS wooden spoon to end the edge of the MLS list. Javier Chicharito Hernandez secured his place in LA Galaxy formerly in Los Angeles. The club announced the move on Thursday and on Wednesday, CBS Sports would land in the City of Angels. Nevertheless, the Mexican spoke about the transfer from Seville to MLS before landing in the city. Hernandez, the all-time leader of the Mexican national team, had a tough time since leaving Bayer Leverkusen and over the last two seasons has been a substitute player for West Ham United and Seville. He joined last summer's Spanish team in just nine league matches, playing three times and 15 total matches. He spoke about his choice to transfer and the main reason was he just wanted to play. He told the Los Angeles Times, this was the best moment, the best chance. The people would claim that because I wasn't able to do something in Europe, but occasionally there are issues in the sport that are not in your control. The managers in the last two years wanted to support other players instead of me. So now the LA Galaxy, the president and the league are suggesting to me, look, Javier, we want to give you all the trust, all the confidence to help us, and that's why I'm taking this opportunity. For Galaxy, who needed to substitute Zlatan Ibrahimovic, who had ended their deal before the end of the 2019 season, that might not be the best time. A 31-year-old striker is delivered to them, with a great deal left in the tank and a revived energy, in particular with the Mexican and Mexican-American populations in the region. I'm going to be able to play in front of a lot of Mexican fans, Galaxy fans, American fans, we offer other chances. That's a wonderful thing about sports. According to the Los Angeles Times, Hernandez's deal with the Galaxy has a three-year contract. It still has a fourth-year right and it earns him a $6 million base salary. The Galaxy is benchmarking for a similar influence in their Los Angeles FC rivals had when Carlos Velo was recruited, who earned the MVP award last season after smashing the MLS record of 34 goals in 31 league games in one season. In reality, in his introductory press conference, Hernandez was not questioned about the future of his national team, and the position of Mexico's most prolific goalscorer remains unclear. Miguel Layun, a relative of Hernandez and a Monterrey athlete, has spoken of people in the Federation getting stabbed in the back, and while his case is not quite the same, Hernandez's name was especially absent from the October and November call-ups. But Hernandez is heading to MLS and what it entails for Mexican football has a larger issue at stake. At a different point, none will deceive Hernandez for his big payday. Over a decade, he has become a figurehead in Mexican soccer, featuring in two of the three largest clubs in the country. Mexico is owed none to Hernandez. It was the best choice to move to a place such as Los Angeles, as others claim, which has more Hispanic roots than Hernandez's hometown, Guadalajara, Mexico's second biggest city. At this point, it's a stretch. The MLS is already a draw for professional sports ability on and off-road alongside Liga MX and Europe's best. There's anticipation that the next Mexican stars will quickly be willing to move to Europe. Striker Jose Juan Macias seems like he is in the path of Hernandez. Rodriguez from Monterrey and Alvarado have the ability to join the top. In the second half of the 2019-20 season, Lozano, Alvarez, Laínez and Gutierrez are now likely to see their circumstances improve in Europe. Yet players on the international market for acquisitions are essentially dominated by cash, and Hernandez's relocation to Galaxy reminds that the MLS's appeal, and to a degree Liga MX, over Europe for a Mexican player is stronger than ever.